everybody. Welcome to another edition of James Jam. I'm Jane. This is my jam. And I have an unboxing for you today. And I had kind of talked about it before, but it finally came. This showed up on um, Fashion File. And it was from a brand that a lot of times gets discounted on Fashion File because people sleep on it and they shouldn't. Um, but when I saw the price and the color and the style, just everything, and I just, bam, I didn't, I'm like, I'm not waiting for it to go on sale. This baby is mine. I'm paying for it. So, um, I've showed how Fashion File boxes look before. You open them up, they look like this. And I had to be good and wait to open it, unfortunately. Used is the new new. It is. So, here we go. So it comes with the file and the confetti. And I can't wait to see this. So let me get this straight. It showed up on Fashion File and then it miraculously just showed up in your cart? Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so. Okay. They do have nice dust bags, but. Oh, I'm so excited because I was a little bit worried that this wasn't quite the color I thought it was because there was a chance it could have been red. Not that I mind red, but I really wanted this orange is red. Look at this. So it's a lunchbox. It's a shop. Um, this is my bag. I don't even know if they, I don't know if I know the name of this. Lunchbox. It just says, no, it's not a lunchbox just says mulberry tote on it but i love mulberry as evidenced these three bags mulberry actually i lied four these four bags are all mulberry i love these bags now look at this so it's got a top handle okay is that it's, the dukes of hazard it's got a spot here i'm assuming this probably at one time was for a phone maybe i don't know how old it is um got another spot here they have nice suede interiors. Then there's also a zipper compartment here. I love bags with lots of spots to put things. And then you open it up and see it's not a lunchbox. Because lunchbox no, there's no thermos. would open all the way up a stop. And oh, it came with the dust bag. And it has a removable adjustable strap and then you open it up and inside there is one slip pocket over in the back here and then it's got these like gussets on the side see a lunch box would open all the way up which is really funny that the zipper does actually go all the way down but it doesn't open but, all the way but it doesn't open all the way yeah so um yeah the interior is just this beautiful suede you know back, basically the back side of the leather so um, I'm going to do something, too, because I had a few people say, can you show what it looks like on? And I never do that. So let me do that. Just, okay, I'm not going to adjust the strap or anything else right now. I'm going to just pop it on and let you just see me for a second. So right now I'm just going to be like a shoulder bag on me. So it, so it sits nicely. I'm trying to get my shirt undone. So here, there's that. Um. I tried to do it cross body like this, be a little too high, but <laughs> there's lots of spots left. Okay, well now I guess I am gonna adjust it just to show you. So let's see if I put it on the next to last one. So this isn't even the last spot, but if I did that, then it would cross body right about here and I could still actually go a little bit further down. So there's my bag. Now, what I was going to say is that typically what I've been buying is these, I think they're, um, I want to say they're like Bayswater um, mini zip totes, but like size wise. Okay. So you look at this, it's not quite as wide, not quite as thick, obviously not quite as tall, but as far as room inside goes 
I mean, yeah, there's really good room in here. I have a organizer in there. I had an extra one. But, I mean, space-wise, you're not that much different, especially when you consider you got all these little things and stuff here. Well, these, if you try to buy them brand new, they're about $1,400, $1,500 um, during Mulberry sale. Sometimes you can get them for just over 1000 But this baby, this was under 500 bucks on Fashion File. And again, I'm not going to say that's cheap for a bag. We know that, that none of these bags are cheap. But um, for what you're getting here, I just think this is phenomenal. I've got to find out the name of this bag. <laughs> Because I don't know the name and I would really like more. But um, it reminds me a lot of this. This is the Celine Nano luggage tote. And um, yeah, you can tell I like orange. I know, green's my power color, orange comes second. But um, they remind me a lot of each other. I mean, this has just beautiful pebbled leather on it. As does the Celine Nano. The Nano has bigger pebbles, I would say. Um, and then they both have the interior that is like the, just to show you, cause I love these bags. Oh, I got an organizer in here too. Um, but it's got the suede interior as well. To me, these bags are very, very similar. The, um, Mulberries and the Celines. This is a Celine. Um, I, I don't know the, the Celines generally do the darker, um, glazing on the sides. Whereas Mulberry, I guess it, it just depends on the bag, but usually they match the color of the leather, but this one actually has like the darker um, trim on it. So it just really reminded me of that. And this bag is an awesome condition. I suppose I should do my Autumn Beckman spin here. Here's the front, side, back, side, bottom, top. So that's my unboxing for you today. Now, I don't, I was going to say, don't sleep on Mulberry, but I'm going to say sleep. Sleep on Mulberry all you want, because that means that there's more bags on Fashion File for me to look at and get. I, I can't say enough good things. So stop shaking your head. I, for the longest time, Celine was my favorite. Just, I love a leather, a pebbled leather tote that the interior suede. I just, mmm something about that but then I found mulberry and oh they're the perfect size they're a little bigger than the um the Celine Nano because the Nano is um smaller and then I think is it the micro that comes next and that's bigger um either way that one's too big so this is just right this is like the you know, Goldilocks. Goldilocks yeah a base but oh I love a square bay like this so um yeah that's my unboxing for you today um I, yeah, I don't know what this is called. I would tell you if I find out, I'll put it in the description box below. But if you know, please tell me. As I've said before, please comment. I absolutely appreciate that so much. And you guys teach me so many things down in the comments. Like someone will probably know the name of this bag. Or they tell me colors that I don't know, especially with Portland Leather Goods. And um, yeah, I just really appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. I really appreciate it. I just really like um, getting to know everybody here and would appreciate your subscription. It's free. How many things in life are free? Even if they're things you don't want when they're free, don't you kind of want them? But no, um, so um, when we hit a thousand subscribers, He's shaking his head at me again. When we hit a thousand subscribers, the man behind the camera is going to make an appearance. So I'm also going to be doing a giveaway and um, more to come on that in some future videos. And um, it could be a real lunchbox, could be your giveaway. Uh, no, I'm not oh. doing a lunchbox, it's All my right. giveaway. Uh, please also find me on Instagram. I'm also a James Jam there. It's J A M E underscore S underscore Jam. And until next time, please do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.